Hey guys, welcome back to another almost inevitable Divi tutorial. And today we're going to try to make a dual menu header. Now this is a this was a request from a friend of mine, and he asked me if I could replicate uh, an inspirational website that he saw, and I thought it looked good, and um, try to uh, have a go at it. And it's it uses two two menus in the header, right? And we could have one text menu here and then uh, an icon that can open up like a drop down menu and it looked pretty cool so uh, we're gonna give that style a try okay now uh, Divi has changed its uh, header uh, file a lot because updates right so it has changed a lot and oh by the way because it has changed uh, in my um, course, in my on my in my online course, making Divi more responsive, I have some header PHP files that I give out uh, in 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 this course for making custom style, different style headers. Uh, I've updated them to fit all the way up to Divi. 3.5 now and also you can see that I opened up a sample lesson. So this is lesson 1-1 one -one. So you can check out the sample lesson and all that. So um, It's yeah, there you go. So uh, if you If you've already purchased this course, thank you very much and you can download the new headers that will fit the new Divi uh, If you haven't then give it a check uh, It's I, I'm pretty sure you'll get a lot out of it. Okay now uh, let's go back to adding two menus to the header. Okay, so I've looked into a lot of different ways of doing this. One way would be to add a custom menu like this, like new menu. Uh, I thought about doing that. It worked, but it was a little harder than this. And well, not harder per se, but it used a lot of CSS. And um, I thought uh, trying to go with um, as easy as possible would be the best way. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, as much as Divi has made and just try to keep it, you know, within and not make new stuff. So that's what that's why we're going to try to use the secondary menu. Oops, sorry, wrong page. Secondary menu here, and then we're going to add um, the icon for the primary menu. And then that'll be a drop down. Okay, so it's real easy to actually do. I'll show you how I do it. Okay, now if you go to header PHP, oh, by the way, if you're gonna use, if you're gonna be editing any PHP file, get, um, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, no, no, go back. Down, find and download this free Divi child theme. Get a Divi child theme. This Divi child theme I think is really cool because. Not only is it updated, um, it also allows a Divi builder on every kind of post type. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, whatever the type it is, whatever it is, use a child theme and then you're gonna edit this child theme, okay? You're gonna edit the header PHP in the child theme. Okay, now this is hooked into localhost. So I won't be using, I won't be saving via FTP, but just in the, in the, in the text editor. And then that's that'll be it. Okay, so if you go to line 80, you'll see this ID equals ET secondary menu. You're gonna select all the way down to here, okay, where it ends, the divi, uh, the div ends. We're gonna cut that out. That's command X. There we go. It's out. We're gonna leave that gap there just so we know where it is. Doesn't matter, but we'll just leave it there. Uh, go all the way down to where the original uh, menu is. That's around 230, I think. I remember. There we go. So top menu nav, right? We're going to go up one line, leave a space, blank space there. Don't cut this out or anything. Don't touch anything there. We're just going to leave this here and add what we just cut out into this spot. Okay. I'm just making it look neater. Okay, there we go. So if you check what you've just done, if you go to top menu nav, right above it, we added the secondary menu. Okay, so we're gonna save this, save that. Okay, 
And of course, I will give you the CSS snippet and we're gonna activate this because right now it's in comments and I'm gonna pull it out of the comments and it's gonna be activated. We're gonna use this and then we're gonna add a secondary menu. So right now this is primary menu, okay? We're gonna go to a new, a different menu that I just made. It's called default. And it has these two pages there and click secondary menu, save that. And we're done. So reload. And there you have it. That's pretty cool. Now, the reason why this menu is red is because I added red here, okay? So um, you can change the color, of course, whatever you want, it's not important. And uh, if you hover over it, it'll become opacity 0.8 or something, like what Re Divi regularly does. So just do that. Um, I don't know, it's, oops, color. Let's just do something like, something like that. All right, font size. This is um, 18 pixels, doesn't matter. We'll just keep it like that. And there, all right. Now this is also in another uh, style sheet. It really doesn't matter what color this is. You can, yeah, all right. Now, if you wanna change the icon here, if you wanna change this icon, I have a tutorial on that. There's a tutorial that has a hamburger on it because it's changing the hamburger icon. Um, this one, all right? Change the mobile menu icon. So you can change that, all right? And you can restyle that whatever, however you want. And you have two menus, this menu and this menu. Now, there's a couple of problems. One, this menu um, is supposed to be for mobile and it has different style, different styling and it, right now it doesn't, it's not the best. Now, regularly, it would be uh, all the way across, but I made it at 30%, so right now, it doesn't go all the way across, so that's good. However, I think the padding is way too big, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add padding, make it something like 20 pixels, and we will get a better looking uh, uh, drop-down menu, right? now. If you look here, we originally added only three items to primer, the primary menu. But here, it has those three and then it added these two guys here as well. Why? Because the Divi header has changed and it doesn't, it's changed from, uh, in it, from its 3.0 uh, years and it's now in its 3.1 above uh, uh, versions, right? So it adds this uh, through jQuery, I think. I think I, I, I think that's what it what, what what it was. Anyway, so it adds that. It adds these guys in here. Okay. Now the easiest way that we can take these out on desktop, but leave them in on mobile because we do need them because um, the secondary menu is gone on Divi in mobile, right? So we need them. So it's good that they're still here on mobile, but we don't need them on desktop because then it'll be a double up, right? So let's get rid of them. Now, if you use the inspector, you go here, you'll see this menu item number, all right? That's the easiest way to get rid of it, okay? It's the easiest way. So. Um, I will give, so here it says hide on desktop, right? Now you're gonna take this out and add menu item eight, oops, 18. Ah, there we go. And the next one, uh, menu item, item, ah, ah, there we go, 19. We do that. And because that's 18 and that's 19, right? So we do that and what we get is this. That's cool. And on mobile, 
we get everything. So there you have it. You can have a dual menu in your header and uh, the other styling, it's all up to you, right? So like styling the colors, whatever, uh, size of the, the mobile menu, that's all up to you. But that's how you do it. You change the header PHP and then you add the CSS and then you style it like that. And you take out uh, the double ups. There you go. All right, so have fun with this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments uh, anywhere. So um, I'll see you in another tutorial. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.